Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what mysteries those twinkling stars hold? Some of those secrets come crashing down to Earth in the form of meteorites. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most fascinating types of these space rocks, carbonaceous chondrites. Let's explore what makes these stony meteorites so special. Meteorites are remnants of our solar system's formation. They come in three main types, iron, stony iron, and stony meteorites. Stony meteorites are the most common, making up about 94% of all meteorites found. They're mainly composed of silicate minerals, much like the rocks that make up the Earth's crust. Stony meteorites are further divided into chondrites and achondrites. Chondrites are the more primitive type, containing small, round particles called chondrules. Among these chondrites, carbonaceous chondrites stand out as particularly fascinating. Carbonaceous chondrites are a type of chondrite that are rich in carbon. They contain a mix of water, minerals, and organic compounds, including amino acids, the building blocks of life. Their complex makeup provides us with a snapshot of the early solar system's chemistry, preserved for billions of years. These meteorites have a dark, carbon-rich matrix with embedded chondrules and even tiny grains of pre-solar material. Some of these grains are older than our solar system itself, making carbonaceous chondrites one of the most scientifically valuable types of meteorites. Carbonaceous chondrites formed over 4.5 billion years ago during the birth of our solar system. They originated from the solar nebula, the cloud of gas and dust that collapsed to form the sun and planets. Unlike other meteorites, Carbonaceous chondrites have not undergone significant melting or differentiation. This means they retain their original chemical and mineralogical composition, offering a pristine record of early solar system materials. These meteorites are thought to have come from the outer regions of the asteroid belt. Occasionally, collisions or gravitational interactions send fragments of these parent bodies hurtling toward Earth, where they eventually land as meteorites. Carbonaceous chondrites are like nature's time capsules. They contain amino acids, water, and other organic compounds that are crucial for life. By studying these meteorites, scientists hope to understand the conditions that led to the formation of planets and the origin of life. Some theories even suggest that meteorites like these could have delivered the raw ingredients for life to early Earth, kickstarting the process of biological evolution. The discovery of amino acids and other organic molecules in carbonaceous chondrites raises intriguing questions about the universality of life. If these building blocks are common in the universe, it could imply that the seeds of life might be scattered throughout space, increasing the chances of life elsewhere. Several carbonaceous chondrites have been discovered on Earth, each providing unique insights. The Murchison meteorite, which fell in Australia in 1969, is particularly famous. It's packed with over 70 different amino acids, many of which are not found on Earth, suggesting an extraterrestrial origin. Murchison's organic-rich makeup has made it one of the most studied meteorites in history. Another notable example is the Allende meteorite, which fell in Mexico in 1969. This meteorite contains pre-solar grains that are older than the sun, providing clues about the materials that existed before our solar system formed. So how can you identify a carbonaceous chondrite? These meteorites typically have a dark, almost black, fusion crust from their fiery journey through Earth's atmosphere. Inside, you'll find a porous, crumbly texture with chondrules embedded in a fine-grained matrix. They can also be quite fragile due to their high carbon and water content. Unlike ordinary chondrites, which are more rock-like and solid, carbonaceous chondrites are less dense and can even contain tiny amounts of water. This water is not liquid, but chemically bound in minerals, giving us a clue about the early solar system's hydration processes. Carbonaceous chondrites are more than just space rocks. They're storytellers from the dawn of the solar system, revealing secrets about planetary formation, the origins of water, and the potential for life beyond Earth. Each one is a piece of a cosmic puzzle, helping us understand our place in the universe. The next time you look up at the stars, remember that pieces of the universe are constantly falling to Earth, carrying the building blocks of life and the history of our solar system. 
Carbonaceous chondrites are just one example of how space continues to shape our understanding of existence. If this journey into the mysteries of space intrigued you, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Mingok TV for more fascinating explorations into the cosmos.